Hi, this is Stephanie, theholyvirgin.com, and this is the first time that I've been moved to do a vlog-style video. Still the usual MO applies, which is one take, no edits, and it should be a really happy time in my life because I'm going on a three-month backpacking trip through Southeast Asia, so I'm going to hit and explore every single continent in Southeast Asia, which is Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Brunei, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Myanmar, Korea, which is a side trip to visit one of my family members, and then Philippines. So, I've been busy planning, and a couple of you have actually met me at one of my talks that I've done around the Lower Mainland. So thank you for giving me the feedback that the advice that I've offered about world traveling has been helpful to you. And it was that feedback that partially is inspiring this vlog because I recently heard some tragic news from one of my family friends who told me that one of his family members had committed suicide and it's been a tough couple of weeks for me to digest what's gone on and partially it's been getting over the what ifs and whether it could have helped at all. And I think once, I feel like maybe I'm still in that phase where I'm still thinking and going over every action, every thought, every word, but many people who I've told this story to have also told me that it's although might feel helpful at the time to just ruminate over everything in the past, that eventually I would have to move forward. And the way that I thought I would honor the person was to actually do what I love and continue to do what I love because this life is actually very precious and I have a lot of gratitude for the things that I've been able to do. So for people who are just being introduced to me, I took my mom and my brother to all seven continents including Antarctica and it was a an amazing race, an adventurous journey that ended in December of 2015, so about nine months ago, and since then we had traveled about eight months, six to eight months within the span of two years, so we split our grand world voyage up into little mini trips of about two months each, and in doing so I picked up a lot of experience of course, regarding the logistics of planning itself and the managerial operational aspect because I was the person with the captain's hat pulling everything together. But also in appreciating this life and having gratitude for this life. And the way that I feel that I can help people is there's many resources for people to get educated at a post-secondary institution and find a job, get married and have kids, and that might be a route that suits a lot of people, but there's also many different options in this life, and I think that the resources for people who want to go off on their own people who want to start their own business, like I've done, or go traveling 
and experience the world in a different way outside of a textbook. I feel like the internet has been uh, a tool that has been brought the world to people's fingertips in terms of YouTube and even travel tips. And I thought I would help with that community, that growing community, because it's it's still a small minority. It's been rare that I've run across people living in Canada who travel as much as I do, but it's starting to grow, and I think a lot of it has to do with a life philosophy as well, where people realize that a lot of critical thinking has to go into how we're living our lives. The typical formula, which, as you can probably tell in this video, I personally think can work for some people, but is rather archaic and outdated for the modern lives that we live. If we are opening up our societies to become free and, ex and accepting of many different lifestyles, then I think some of the lifestyles that, to me, is the most enriching involve travel and meeting new people and being immersed in new cultures and seeing this beautiful earth, I think. For example, one of the best ways to educate about climate change would be, for me at least, seeing those majestic whales and penguins down in Antarctica with my Mutu eyes or holding a koala in my arms and I'm the person if you see me anywhere outside not a single piece of thread goes to waste I recycle everything and there will be times where if there's a lack of recycling facilities around me at the time I will stuff my pockets full and wait till I get home to recycle so I'm hardcore but I'm hardcore and I've become more hardcore than I was before because of the things that I've seen. Because it's very hard to tell people about loss of habitat or climate change and how it affects our delicate ecosystems. That's one thing to tell people, but it's another thing to actually see it with your own two eyes. So, something that I wanted to bring attention to. And this is almost a little bit unfortunate too because I'm starting to vlog right when I'm about to leave so I'm still deciding about whether I can actually live video while I'm on my trip. I'm still sorting that out. I think I'm actually, this entire project, The Holy Virgin, is something that I've treated as a new lifestyle experiment where instead of using YouTube and this mode of communication as something to earn money, which may or may not happen, I'm actually using it as a mode to express myself and do things as I feel. So I've experimented with different types of uploading and content and if you go to my channel, The Orly Virgin, which you're on right now, you'll see I just have a mix of different types of videos, and mostly it's just however I'm feeling that day. And this is a little bit of an introduction to traveling, and why I, I want to make some sort of vlog series, a vlog series on it, because I feel in me getting out into the community and talking to different people, I've realized that many people want to do it, but they're afraid. They're afraid, how do they start? And they're fearful about the scary world, and they, they'd really appreciate a resource to help them move forward, so I hope that I can help with that and in doing so also honor the memory of a person that we 
you just lost. So, that'll be it for now, I think, and we'll see what happens. Thanks again.